What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here. And today, we're back on some Slime Rancher 2. Now, what have I done since the last episode? I have basically just been gathering a bunch of money, as you can see. I've nearly got like 9,000 uh, coins or whatever currency it is on here. But my next step is to set up a proper farming area that means we have gardens and coops all in one area so all like the food sources are together so that is what we're going to do today so that means we need to buy a new area and i'm going to go with this one the archway something to do with ancient ruins and blah 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 let's just purchase it and we're going to go down so before we go down i'm going to take one of like everything i need look at this this is ridiculous. Uh, one of everything that I'm going to use. Uh, get one mint mango. And one carrot from over here. There we go. That's going to be like four farms set up. I'm going to move the coops. So that means all the chickens and stuff are going to go down there. And I'm doing this because certain slimes, if you don't know already, have certain favorite foods. And if you give them those favorite foods, they will produce uh, more plots, which is something everyone wants. So I'm trying to set up a complete area where we can just have a bunch of favorite foods actually i don't think this area is big enough there's only like five plots on here yeah it's just not big enough there's only one plot left and i can't really move my chickens there i'm gonna have to get another place and put my chickens in that other place so this is literally just gardens but there's also there's more types of fruit than just what i've got right here uh there's a bunch more so this place isn't even big enough to store all the food sources. Uh, but that's what we got going on at the moment. I'm just going to start upgrading these. It is a lot of money, but I can get a lot of money back. It's not a big deal. Did have nine grand. Let's see where this puts us after we've spent all our monies. And I've still got to do the chickens as well. That means we're going to have to buy another new area. I'm down to 2,000 odd. Um, there is another berry I can get on the first island. I believe it's the Q-berry. Uh, so I need to plant that roughly in that spot. I need to get one first though. Um, that means we can also get rid of the plots that are in here for food. And it actually costs, which is actually annoying. Completely demolish it, which is 350. This one and this one. So that means we got two spots open for more corrals in here. So we can focus on them. And there's actually something I want to pull right here. And it's the silo. Now this can contain a lot. And it's got multiple storage options. So you can put a lot of food, plots, whatever, in here. So I'm going to suck all these up. I've actually got more than I want. But then we can come back over to the silo and just put these in here. Just for store. Oh, let's select the right slot first. So each slot can hold up to 100 of any uh, type. So they can hold all food. That includes all the chickens and stuff. Uh, and they can hold plots as well. Pretty much they can hold anything. Uh, which is very, very nice. Especially if you've got like an absolute ton of food and you don't know what to do with. Store it because it's always best to have too much than too little. That's what I say. Because uh, food can be very important in this game. So what I need to do, I need to get my money back up and I need to go and find the last berry, which is the Q berry. I don't know if I've found it yet. 
Uh, yeah, there it is. That's the berry that I'm on about. It's a favourite of the Phosphor Slimes. Uh, which we'll need to feed the uh, Gordos in this map. So yeah, I'm going to try and get my money uh, back up. So I have managed to get my, some of my money back up with just under five grand. But I've been out and managed to get one of the Q berries. Which we can put in the last slot of our farm right here. So let's go and plant this one in the garden. Boom. I'm going to do upgrades for it. It is a lot of money. We'll get rid of it. But as you can see, these have already produced a lot. And I've already got 20 of these. Wow. Okay. Mint mangoes. Mint mangoes are always good for your honey slimes. They are their favorite food. Keep that in mind as well. And up here are just a bunch of these pogo fruits as well. Which we're just going to whack in storage for now. I actually don't know if any slime has the favorite food of the pongo fruits. I'm not actually sure. I don't believe there is. Um, <clears throat> but they're just a good uh, thing to hang on to just in case you do run into a slime that is a fruit eater but you can't manage to get hold of their favorite fruit. Uh, so, always best to hold on to it, just in case. Haven't got any cube berries yet, but I've got some of these we can store away. Mint mangoes, obviously go to, goes to my honeys. Going to them ones over there. Don't know what I'm going to do with these guys yet. I might just get rid of them and maybe get a new um, slime in. But let's put all our mint mangoes. Like I said, they produce twice as much with their favorite food. So as you can see, I've still got a bunch of quartz building up as well. And I've got an absolute bunch of carrots, which I usually just store in here until they're overflowing. And once they are, I shoot the rest of them into the pen. Uh, if you've still got too much there, you can bring them over here. Oh, actually, these have got no food. Uh, chickens. These prefer the stony hen chickens, which I have got a bunch of them over here. So let's just fill up on these quick time. There we go. There's 20 of them. I'm going to put the elder ones in here so they can just feed for a second. One of them. Let's just feed some of these so they produce a bit more. There we go. And put the rest of them in the auto feeder. And we can go and collect some more because we've got a ton of them, I believe. A bunch of roosters that we just don't need. Do, 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 to suck everything up. Get rid of the chicks. How many roosters we got in here? I usually have a, like a minimum or maximum of like three roosters. They seem to do the most. Uh, anyone else unhappy in here? No? This guy right here. Eat that, my dude. Put them in there. And I'm going to store the rest in here. So now we've got that entire uh, farm set up, all I have to do is wait for them to grow. And we can start using them on the Gordos that are around this map. Now if you watched the last episode where we unlocked the new area, we had to go and feed the... Uh, oh wow, this guy's got out. Come here you. Boom, there we go. We have to go and feed the Cotton Gordo, I believe it was. Yeah, that one. <clears throat> That's the one we had to feed. Um, its favorite food was fruit, but I don't know what it was. Oh no, it's vegetables, sorry. And it was the water lettuce, which we are now growing. So we could actually feed the water lettuce to these guys and they'll produce twice as many plorts. So we could actually get rid of all these carrots if we wanted to. Um, but there is also the pink slime on the map, or pink gordo, that we'll have to feed. Luckily enough, that feeds, like, everything, uh, eats everything, sorry. And there is also one more gordo on this island, which is the phosphor gordo. And he is located, I am going to give you the exact location, right around here somewhere. Oh, it's right behind us. In this cave, I believe. It's not here. 
That's strange. Did I feed it already? I don't remember feeding it. It was usually in here. And we have to open this door with a certain uh, plot if you didn't know how to open these doors already. I don't remember feeding this guy. But he's usually here. Yeah, Dad didn't give us nothing. Uh, so yeah, looks like we've only... If we've come across it, it should be on our Slimepedia. But... I, it's not here. So I don't know why that one hasn't shown up. Weird. But there you go. This is uh, a preview of the game. It's not the full game. It's not the full release. So things are bound to have hiccups here and there. So yeah, free Godos on this map. I've got all the food I really need to like feed all of them. So that is not a problem. But we have got our massive farm online now. And we can just produce a ton of food just to keep us going. While we discover more new slimes. Some more. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe this has helped you out a little bit. Uh, and I'll hopefully see you more in the next video.